This right here in front of me is my very own Roblox store. And over the past week, it's made me $500,000. And I just spent a thousand Robux buying the rest of the land so we can build the world's biggest Roblox store. I'm not kidding, guys. Look how big my store is right now. But look at how much land we have available. We're going to use every inch of this land and make the biggest Roblox store in today's video. Oh god, guys, I can't even believe I'm doing this. This is gonna take so many managers, staff workers, meat cutters, storage containers, and oh, even registers, self-checkouts. There is so much that is about to go into this video. Let's start off with the simple stuff. Let's make the flooring and the walls. The most expensive floors we can buy are the water floors. There's $700 for every single tile. Let's go ahead and see how much it's gonna cost to make the entire floor out of water and glass. Oh gosh, guys, I already don't like that. Oh my gosh. Look at how much money it's costing me. We've already spent six... Oh my gosh, we've already spent $100,000 on the floor. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm. A <laughs> wait, 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 what? No, this is not good. Why am I still buying them? I spent almost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the floors, and I haven't. They. Ha oh my gosh. Okay, well, I mean, I'm already almost done with the floors, so might as well just finish them up. I. I uh, uh, this is the. I, I'm, I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. We're, we're literally about to go broke, and we haven't even put the walls up yet. We're almost done. Almost done. Almost done. There we go. Now we got this one right there. Okay, look at that, guys. We have. The, the water glass floor. There was water below the floor. Guys, remember when I just started this video and I had $510,000 and you only live once. I'm just gonna buy, I'm just, sorry. I just, I have to. Okay, we're good. I feel better. Everyone's walking on the floor. It's like, whoa, I'm gonna spend so much money here. Also, all the mountains and everything around is all winter. It's snowing. The winter season is here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start placing the walls around the entire place. Every single one of these walls are $450 and I keep placing them in the wrong spots. Guys, it's uh, it's gonna be a great day. Okay, it's gonna be a great day. I just need everyone to click that subscribe button. <laughs> Guys, is this not the biggest store that you've ever seen in your life? Are you kidding me? Look, at it literally makes our store that I thought was ginormous look tiny. I do indeed have a strategy for this store that is going to blow your mind. When I'm done with this store, it's probably gonna cost me almost a million dollars. Actually, easily a million dollars I have already spent on this store right now. But like, we're gonna be more than a million. There we go. We got all our walls in, all our beautiful glass walls, and we got our beautiful water flooring that doesn't even look like water. Why isn't it blue? Here's my idea. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy all these walls real quick. Now, this right here is where our storage and our management team is. Now, most people will put this at the very back of the store, but what if we kept the storage and the managers in the middle of the store, and then the store went around the managers and the storage facility. I want to do that so when the store pickers have to go into the inventory and then go put it in the store, they don't have to walk all the way across the store. They can just walk kind of around it and I don't know, it just, it just makes sense to me. And plus, it, it's already there in the middle of the store, so, you know, just let it be. Since our store is going to be growing and growing and growing, we're going to need a lot more managers, so I'm going to go ahead and plant uh, a lot more desks. All right, now let's go ahead and fill up a bunch of large storage racks right here because with more managers, more products, and more storage. There we go. Now, I also do want to buy a couple other things like meat cutters, and then we'll hire five meat workers. Then we'll go ahead and get some sawmills and then one, two, three, four lumber workers. Oh my gosh, guys. What have I done? What have I done? We also need some bakery ovens as well. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to hire one, two, three, four, five bakery workers, three security people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven custodians. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five five stalkers and then one two three four five more cashiers we also need to go in and destroy all these walls right here because this is just hurting our sale all these walls up let's open up the store and let people see our beautiful floor that cost us two hundred and fifty thousand dollars why did i spend that much money on a floor i don't know i don't want to talk about it either okay i don't want to talk about it really i don't there we go so that giant box in the middle right there is all our inventory managers lumbers bakery now for the fun stuff we gotta decorate the rest of the store and we only have $300,000 to do it. Now let's buy the most expensive things we possibly can. I'm just kidding. 
Yeah, no, that's what we're gonna do. That's completely what we're gonna do. Why would we not buy the most expensive things? A mobile device table that carries tablets and phones. I'm in, I'm sold. Let's line this up on the back wall here. Christmas, so people are gonna be buying a lot of phones, you know? Let's go ahead and stock these as well. We'll do phones in this one, tablets in this one. Now I need to destroy all these clothing racks because I'm actually gonna turn this entire area into nothing but cash registers because that is exactly what we need. We're actually gonna do a lot of self-checkouts. I feel like people like self-checkouts. I prefer them. Yeah, now people can't complain. Yeah, no complaining anymore. There we go. Now I know it's a little crammed in this space, but it's, it's good. You guys got this. Oh wait, I just unlocked the giant gumball machine. Oh snap. I'm gonna put this right at the front so people can see it before they walk in. You know what? I'll actually do two of them. All right, if I'm gonna put two giant gumball machines on one side, I kind of got to do it to the other side. So I'm gonna put them over here too. One there and one there and one there. All right, another thing is a pet shelf. Everyone wants some shelves for their pets. So let's go ahead and just lay this up here. That's a lot of pet shelves. All right, we'll put fish in this one, spider in this one and snakes in this one. Yes, the best pet shelves ever. Ah, I love going to the grocery store and buying spiders and snakes next to my gumballs and gotta fill the gumball machines as well. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, cool. It's starting to get kind of ridiculous, guys. Like there is a lot of things that we, ooh, fireworks. Palette, okay, let's do some pallets right here. I don't know exactly what items we can put in here. Let's see, we can do, oh, soda. Oh, clay bricks. Oh, I can Complete a challenge. Ah, I got a bike rack. All right, we're doing bikes next, boys. We're doing bikes next. Let me fill up all this soda soda oh my gosh we're gonna have so much soda all right on the other side we'll do stone bricks and then clay bricks <laughs> so if you want to build a house and get some dr pepper come over to unspeakable store there we go look at that this is beautiful i love it okay now for the bike racks all right there we go we got the bike racks we can go ahead and put them let's put them against this wall why not we'll put one there one there we'll put another one there uh i feel like there should be three bike racks i mean we can put another one right here around the corner i mean that's quite a bit of bikes how many bikes can we we can fit 10 bikes on each rack quite a bit of bikes i feel like that that is that, that's a good amount guys we still have so much room and we still have one hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars to spend oh my gosh okay i think we should continue some of the food stuff. Let's do some of the food stuff on the other side over here. So we kind of have like a variety, like there's food over there, there's food over here. You know, I don't know, it's just such a big store. There we go. So we got another frozen section over here and some bread as well. Let's go ahead and stock up all these shelves. We got mini loaves here. We got croissants. We got loaves. We got, <gasps> is that a croissant? Everyone knows that they like to buy their bread and then buy their bikes. Everyone knows that we got milk in this one. We got juice in this one. We got ice cream in this one. We got donuts in this one. We got eggs in this one. Can't forget the cheese and can't forget the second layer of donuts. We got pizza. That's all we need. Just tons of pizza. The next thing I noticed is you can actually have jewelry cases as well. So this will probably make us a good amount of money. The fact that we have jewelry. So let's go ahead and do a lot of jewelry cases. Like, come on, like come into Unspeakable's shop and buy yourself some jewelry. All right, look at all these jewelry cases right here. Okay, I don't even want to know how much it's going to cost to fill all these up. Oh, wait, there's a lot more than jewelry. We have a camera, CPUs, motherboards. Back wall should be cameras, RAM, CPU coolers, and motherboards. We'll just do that for this back wall. And then this one, we'll do bronze. Oh my gosh, there's so many different types. I wish at the start of this series, I would have just opened a jewelry store like that that's it like that's the only thing i should have opened okay there we go so our jewelry corner is completely full we should also probably put some security cameras over here considering you know expensive corner in the back of the store so another thing the double wide floor shelf oh uh, the classical okay what does this thing hold hold on is it literally just sofas? It's just sofas. Okay, okay. <laughs> we already have a whole sofa section. I seriously don't know what to build. We've used everything. What about this? The large floor shelf. I think we have used this. This carries lawn mowers and pianos. Okay, see, we just need to unlock some of the other things like go-karts, hot tub. We need to complete challenges. Ooh, what about this stone shelf that carries marble and granite? Ah, we could put this over here. Beautiful. Now, the only thing that confuses me about having a massive store like this is there's no shopping carts. How are people just picking up giant slabs of granite and just 
carrying, I don't know, whatever. It's kind of like Minecraft where you just throw a bunch of stuff in your inventory and it just disappears. Ooh, there's a ball shelf. I didn't even notice this. Hold on, hold on. Guys, we're gonna do a lot of ball shelves, like a lot. Oh yeah, there we go. Guys, I told you we were gonna buy a bunch of bouncy balls and volleyballs and soccer balls as well. This store is absolutely crazy. And yes, it could still use a lot of work. There is still a lot of open space, but guys, I'm slowly running out of money. And I'm not gonna lie, I really need to buy some more parking spots because our store is completely full. And look, we have two Santa sleighs. Santa is shopping at our store buying Christmas gifts and we need more parking spots. So if we buy one more, it's $17,000 and boom, that's all I can afford. I only have five thousand dollars left guys that's literally it this is our massive roblox store look at the size of this store compared to the one next to us but don't look at that other one in the back because that one's pretty big that's what we started out as that little tiny store and now look at us thriving full of customers probably stealing all that those guys customers i kind of feel bad but we're also making a lot of money so it's cool actually never mind we're going broke we're 300 dollars, 200 dollars. am i about to go negative guys we only have 200 bucks what happens if i go negative does that mean the store just shuts down i don't know what's happening it's just hovering at 200 dollars. oh 85 11 dollars 11 i have 11 dollars i'm not even touching anything the reason the money is fluctuating is because people are buying a bunch of stuff but also my managers are buying a bunch of stuff oh my gosh look at how many people just get off the bus please buy someone oh there we go we're a thousand okay we're, we're oh two thousand okay we're good we're good we're good thank you guys for watching if you want to see another video about how much money my store can make in 24 hours let me know by leaving a like on this video till then i'll see you guys next time peace